Have you ever wondered how something as thin as a fabric or a cloth can stop a bullet fired from a live gun? It's really a science marvel. With the incredible blend of science, craftsmanship, and engineering, the Bulletproof Vest was invented. A simple yet life-saving gear that has revolutionized how we perceive gun safety like never before. In this video, we will be diving into the astonishing world of bulletproof vests. From how they're made, to the secret materials that make them so strong and durable, and even the technology that could one day make them even better. Just like other inventions out there, there's always a fascinating history of how their invention took place, and how they evolved over time to fit the needs they were designed for. To get a better picture of this amazing protective gear, let's first look into its history and how far it has evolved from its early designs. The Bulletproof Vest is a vital protective gear designed for the sole purpose of shielding individuals from ballistic threats. The first invention of the Bulletproof Vest dates back to the 16th century when the Italian military leader Duke Francesco Maria della Rovere commissioned Filippo Negroli, an armorer from Milan, to create a bulletproof vest from steel. This new development marked the start of a new era in the ballistic world, especially in how guns were perceived. Other armorers soon followed suit, coming up with new designs that were less heavy, but more sophisticated than the first invention. Fast forward to 1893, Casimir Zeglin, who was a Catholic priest in the US from Poland, made a significant breakthrough in bulletproof technology after he invented what is considered the blueprint of the modern bulletproof vest. His dedication towards this breakthrough was as a result of the tragic assassination of the then Chicago mayor Carter Harrison Sr., which had a profound impact on him. Zeglin was able to figure out a way to utilize silk to create a vest that is capable of proofing against low-velocity bullets. The main aim of his design was to help protect public figures from assassination attempts. Zeglin's invention came with certain limitations which restricted its acceptance by the public. In 1901, he partnered with Jan Szyszpinik, who was a Polish inventor, to make improvements upon the silk vest. By combining silk with layers of linen and wool, they were able to come up with a more advanced vest. Throughout the 20th century, the materials used in manufacturing of vests kept evolving, ranging from ballistic nylon, as used in vests during the Second World War, to flak jackets and steel plates, which were also used to create bulletproof vests during and post-World War II era. The real breakthrough in the material used that became a game changer when Kevlar, a synthetic fiber material, was developed. This development revolutionized the bulletproof vest manufacturing industry. Kevlar material offered a unique combination of lightweight durability to the vest and increased its resistance to ballistic threats. Unlike its predecessors, the Kevlar was designed to be able to withstand bullet shots from handguns and even rifles. By the late 20th century, the Kevlar made vest were used by police officers and even military personnel around the world. Although Kevlar has been the cornerstone of bulletproof vests for decades, with evolution and technology came the birth of new materials and innovations in fiber technology, which look promising in making the bulletproof vest even stronger, lighter, and more versatile than ever before. So how is the modern bulletproof vest actually made? The strength and durable characteristics of the vest is significantly associated with the raw material used in its production, namely the Kevlar material. The Kevlar material is produced through a polymerization process that involves the production of a polymer in the laboratory. The result is a crystalline polymer liquid which is extruded through a spinneret to form Kevlar yarn. The Kevlar fiber is then passed through a cooling bath to give it a hardened texture which is then wound into rolls. To prepare the fiber for weaving, it is sent to throsters, who twist the yarn to improve its strength and flexibility for the weaving process. Kevlar cloth is then produced by weaving the yarn into specialized patterns such as plain or basket weave, which enhance its durability and resistance to stress. At this stage of the manufacturing process, the Kevlar fabric is rolled open to allow for the cutting out of the vest panels. As few as eight layers of the fabric is required for a single vest, and as much as 25 layers can also be used depending on the level of proofing required. To cut the cloth, a cut sheet is placed on the layers of the cloth and the computer graphic system are used to determine the optimal placement of the cut sheets, thereby reducing the level of material wastage due to human error. With the aid of a handheld cutting machine, workers cut around the sheets of the fabric to form panels, which fit the vest's design and some designs have additional cuts for pockets. After the Kevlar fabric has been cut into different shapes and sizes, they need to be sewn together to provide the required vest. A Kevlar-made bulletproof vest can either be quilt-stitched or box-stitched. For quilt stitching, small diamonds of cloth are formed which are separated by stitching. 
This makes it labor intensive and difficult, and it also provides a stiff panel that is hard to shift away from vulnerable areas which may be a disadvantage while we're using it. But unlike the box stitching where a large single box in the middle of the vest is formed, its manufacturing process is relatively faster and easier. It also allows the free movement of the vest when it's been used. The stencil is placed on top of the stacked layers and chalk is then used to apply dotted lines on the exposed areas of the panel. The sewing machine stitches the layers together while carefully following the pattern made by the chalk. The shells to insert the Kevlar made panels are also sewn together using standard industrial sewing machines and standard sewing practices. The panels are then slipped inside the shells and sewn over. These panels are designed to cover vital areas like the chest and back protecting the vital organs in our body. Other accessories are also sewn on to make the vest more practical. These accessories include adjustable straps that ensure a secure fit for different sizes, and the pockets and modular attachments which also allow customization with pouches for different kinds of tools. Weight distribution systems are also attached to help evenly distribute the weight in the vests for more comfort. Testing and quality control for Kevlar bulletproof vests are a critical process to ensure its effectiveness, durability, and safety. Essentially, the tests are conducted to assess the jacket's overall ability to stop bullets, withstand environmental conditions, and provide reliable protection over time, ranging from ballistic testing, which is the most important aspect of quality control. It involves the use of different types of firearms and ammunition to test the penetration power backface deformation of a bullet fired on the vest. The sample vest is mounted on a backing material, typically a ballistic gel, which simulates human tissue, and the bullet is fired towards it. The ballistic gel aids in measuring the bullet's energy transfer and deformation depth. For the vest to be considered effective, the dent left by the bullet after hitting the ballistic gel must remain below a specific depth to prevent injuries that will be considered life-threatening. Environmental testing is also integrated on the vest to determine its ability to withstand different environmental conditions, while also ensuring reliability and effectiveness. Through both wet and dry tests of the vest, its performance can be determined because the Kevlar fiber used tends to perform differently when wet. The same procedure used during the ballistic testing process is also employed here. The vest is first tested when dry with different kinds of ammunition and firearms, and then when it is wet to determine the penetration power and backface deformation of the bullet. For the test to be considered successful, there should be no sign of penetration on the vest and the dent left by the bullet should be no deeper than 1.7 inches or 4.4 centimeters, about the length of a matchstick. Other tests conducted include the abrasion test to determine the wear and tear resistance of the vest by subjecting it to friction. Flexibility and folding tests are also conducted to ensure that the vest will maintain its integrity after multiple usage. To ensure that the ballistic performance of the vest doesn't degrade due to exposure to different kinds of chemicals, the Kevlar plates are exposed to oils, chemicals, and even cleaning agents. Once the vest passes the test successfully, its model number is certified and the manufacturer will be certified to make exact duplicates of the vest. What is your opinion regarding this life-saving gear? Share with us in the comment section below. Also, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more educational content just like this. Thank you for watching.